What would you do if the light suddenly just went black? Has this scenario ever crossed your mind? It does me. It keeps me up at night sometimes. So come along with me in this video, and I'll show you a product that might help relieve a little bit of stress. Now, I hate the word prepper. I don't hate it. I dislike it. I don't like the stigma that comes along with, oh, he's a prepper. He's a doomsday prepper. I can't stand that. Don't call me freaking doomsday prepper. It's called being smart. I know a lot of people say, it might never come. It's a waste of money. Nothing's ever going to happen. But what if something drastically happens? What would you do if just lights go out? No more YouTube. No more Al. Come on. No way to feed your daughter, your son. No way to give uh, grandma her insulin because there's no refrigeration to keep her medication cold. Like, look, at, I, it's cold. I get goosebumps talking about this guy. Seriously, this is one thing that's been in the back of my mind for the last four years. So that's why when Opus contacted me, I jumped at the opportunity to test out one of their portable power stations. Because with this, okay, I got 600 watts. I can keep the mini fridge run, keep some stuff cold. I can keep the Wi-Fi on if that's still a thing the wireless modem, keep the internet going, I can keep the TV, keep the kids entertained, keep the devices charged, and if this goes dead, still no power, then I got a 100 watt solar panel I can charge it up with. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at that. That's so slick. On the back, it has little legs so you can extend it at different angles. I'll show you clips of that later. But it folds up. suitcase smaller than your laptop in the back it has a pretty long cord to plug in let's see how long it is six seven eight let's say eight feet plugs right near the side is the ac port and also any recharging port oh, it's off three seconds turns it on When it's charging, because it's closed, it's not charging, this little circle will spin. It's very interesting. There's several different ways to charge this. I'll go over all that here in a minute. But uh, needless to say, it powers up. It might take a half a day to charge this thing fully, if in direct sunlight, but uh, you have it. It is a huge like safety blanket, for me at least. I, I absolutely love this. Now the bigger power stations come with two solar panels so you can do 200 watts and that'll charge this bad boy very quickly enough talking about prepping i don't want you guys to think this whole video is gonna be doom and gloom it's not i just want to make my point when it comes to being prepared it's smart to have a little bit of extra stuff just in case something happens that's all i'm saying anyways enough doom and gloom guys this is just under 600 watt hours well al how much is 600 watt hours in like everyday usage all right so you have your 18 volt drills your 20 volt drills 24 volt drills right most of you guys know that. You also have your 40 volt tools and your 60 volt tools. Now, I have a 60 volt lawnmower and outdoor power tools. This is a five amp hour, 60 volt battery. This is about the equivalent of 10 amp hours at 60 volts. So that's this one, this one, and this one combined inside of this. This is 11 amp hours, but it's just about 10 amp hours, guys. So let's see, so 60 volts, five amp hours is 300 watt hours. Exactly. So 10 amp hours. What kind of batteries inside this? It's a life PO4 lithium battery. And what does that mean? It just means it's a very stable and safe lithium style battery guys. Won't explode, won't catch fire and so on and so forth. Very safe guys. So if you have any hesitation, oh, your batteries explode. That's way, way long old technology. This stuff doesn't do any of that. Uh, no gas. Guys, no messing with carburetors, no loud, stinky exhaust. It's good for the environment. What else? Um, like I said, BMI, battery management system built in. It will not short circuit. It will shut it off and save that battery. Won't catch on fire, nothing like that. Very, very safe, guys. They do have 600 watt, 1200 watt, 1800 watt. And I just saw they have a 2300 watt system. And you can buy the big one. There's a 2400 watt. It comes with four solar panels. So you can charge 400 watts into one of these bad boys. The bigger ones, have multiple charging ports for the solar panels. And those run a little bit more, a little over like a thousand dollars. But uh, for a couple hundred bucks, this one, smaller one, it's got you set. Can run a mini fridge, can run power tools. So right now let's roll the clip of me showing how the solar panels work and charging it and everything. 
beautiful Sunday morning here in Minnesota. The sun is shining. We got some morning sun cooking here. Got the solar panel all hooked up, wired up to the Opus generator here, or excuse me, charging station. So we're running about 60 watts into her. Now it's not 100% direct sunlight, but I'd say it's probably 75%. Now I've had this thing in direct sunlight and I've got about 80 watts out of it. So 60 watts is pretty good. Now remember guys, nothing is 100% efficient. So if it's 100 watts, you're probably gonna get 90 watts out of it. You can charge this with multiple devices. So you can have a solar panel, then you can actually plug in a USB, like the 60 watt here, and charge it off that. I've done that. So I've actually had that charging number up to about 125 watts charging it right there. Sorry for the flashing, it's spinning, and that's just kind of the way it looks in the sun. So we're at 79%, we're gonna leave it out here in the sun for a while and see how long it takes to charge it up. I'm gonna adjust the panel just a little bit. There we go, I moved it, we're at 85% charging. Right in the sun, let's see how long it takes to charge it up. And we're at 79% battery life. Start the timer. It's been about an hour and 20 minutes. You can see that the sun has shifted and it's almost in the shade. So let's see what we're up. We're at 78%. We're at 76%. It's almost 10% in an hour. That's pretty dang good. And right now, because it's half in the shade, I'm only at 21 watts. So let's unplug this and drag it back inside here. 86%. One up 10%. Let's plug it in here. I have the standard charger that comes with it. Nice charger here. Plugs right into the side. Now watch. See it starts, so this charging shows a little wheel, the fan, you can hear the fan come on. And it's up to 95% usually, 94%. You can also plug in additional USBs and charge it, or these you can charge it as well, or even the 12 volt port. So I've had up to 120% charging, or excuse me, 120 watts charging, and that charges it very quickly. You hear the fan? Keep it cool. There you go. That's how you charge it. Um, now on the package it says it can run a corded drill for an hour and a half. Let's see if she can actually do it. You just so happen to have an old corded hammer drill. This thing is 6.7 7 amps. See it right there? Let's see power she sucks up all right gotta turn on the ac port okay see it's on see that oh no error i blew it see error let's reset it put it back in see what happens let me start on low on. There we go. Four more, 200 watts. 250, 300. Look at that. That's pretty slick. It says I'll do it for one and a half hours at full board. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you liked that video of the Opus Portable Power Station 600 watt edition. Remember, environmentally friendly, no gas, no clean carburetors, no fumes, none of that nastiness, just pure clean, natural energy solar powered. Of course, you can use your outlet as well. Now guys, I got you a discount code down below. Save yourself a few bucks if you wanna check out the Opus portable power station. Guys, you can't go wrong. Uh, I really like this so far. I've had it for over a month. Opus is even kind of sending me emails. Hey, are you gonna put out that uh, video you promised us? Yes guys, I, I just wanna make sure I thoroughly test this stuff. Leave it out in the cold, make sure it works right before I promote it. You know, I don't like to promote crappy products. Uh, I do very few reviews like this if people send me stuff, but I can get behind this, guys. I give it two thumbs up. Never done that before because you cannot have too much safety. You cannot have too much of a safety net, safety blanket when it comes to your family and your loved ones, guys. Promo code up, promo code down below. I can't talk today, it's cold. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the bell so you don't miss out on future content. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have one of these. Do you prefer gas? What do you guys got? Much love. See ya. Yeah.